today on my show of what I'm going to talk about on my show today is I'm going to do a 2012 movie review of what I just watched today for my first time on Amazon is The Oogie Loves in the Big Balloon Adventure. And this movie is an adventure, family, fantasy, and it's also a musical film. And this movie stars Christopher Lloyd from Back to the Future Trilogy. And my opinion, review, and thoughts of what I think about this 2012 film, The Oogie Loves in the Big Balloon Adventure, that I think the cast had a lot of bad acting performances. And I think this movie was like so boring. And I think this movie is probably more for like littler kids to like. I mean, older kids, teenagers, and adults, it's probably not their type of movie either. And also in my other opinion is, I think Christopher Lloyd, he's a good actor from Back to the Future. I met his acting performance in this film. He didn't do a great job playing in this one. And I just want to let everyone know that if anyone remembers watching this 2012 film, The Oogie Loves in the Big Balloon Adventure at the theaters before back in 2010s. And if you might have enjoyed watching this film, I'd say that's fine and I respect your opinion or some people might watch at the theaters or if it's not your type of film at all or maybe other people and kids might have liked it I'd say again I respect your opinion too and I find it interesting not really and before I go I want to make this episode of who remembers watching this 2012 film the oogie loves in the big balloon adventure and also my other opinion is I think the characters were just super annoying and I thought the settings were also perfect and I think this movie is terrible, garbage, and it probably sucked and for me I'm gonna give this movie thumbs down. I mean it's not perfect but not the great movie from the 2010s and I just want to let everyone know that if you enjoy watching bad films from 2010s then I think this could be a right film for you to watch sometimes if it 
picture type of movie, but you know what? Each movie audiences are different no matter what. And for me, I'll probably give this movie about 1.8 out of 10 stars. And I don't recommend that you should not check out or watch this film either. And don't waste your time too, because there's a lot better family films than this. That's just in my opinion. And also in my quick opinion is, I didn't understand like what the plot was about. That's just in my opinion. And that's all for my show today. And make sure to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click like on the bottom below. And don't forget to hit the bell for more notifications. And that's all for my show today. And see you next time.